We are about to have the, the, the most fun here in the general session uh, area than you've had all day. But if you've put a business card in our, uh, in our little goldfish bowl here, Red Hats, Red Hats Goldfish Bowl, to win this special little item, you must be present to win it. So far, this gentleman in the front is the only one present to win. So if you would like to win this car, come on over and listen to uh, my uh, discussion here for a, a brief 10 minutes. And there's still time to put your business card in the uh, goldfish bowl. So my name's Mike Werner. I'm a senior director at Red Hat. I'm responsible for building the partner ecosystem around OpenStack. And in this room, it represents really that ecosystem as an emerging area for all of us to engage with OpenStack. Uh, as you heard this morning from Brian Stevens' keynote, um, Red Hat's business model, our, our development model, is all based on open source. And so with what we did this morning in our announcement relative to RDO, that's an important piece of what we have to ensure that our OpenStack distribution is going to be a really well-supported, certified um, uh, technology. But in order to have these pieces here, the, the, the hardware and software certification, uh, software assurance, global support services, all of those things require programs uh, beneath them. And so as part of the ecosystem efforts that we're building, uh, we announced yesterday our early adopter customer program. And it's really important for this room in particular because service providers, uh, uh, systems integrators, ISVs, IHVs, all uh, have an opportunity to engage with us around these partners, uh, around these customers as partners to build and deploy OpenStack uh, solutions. So uh, we really are hoping to engage with the partner ecosystem around this particular early adopter customer program. So we're opening it up to approximately 200 uh, very um, uh, well-respected names in the, in the, in the uh, industry, and we hope that you guys can participate with us. The second thing that we announced yesterday after the RDO from a programmatic standpoint was the, uh, the announcement of our Red Hat OpenStack Cloud Infrastructure Partner Network. And we have a variety of participants here at the actual summit in this room that are part of our uh, fledgling network that's building the ecosystem around, uh, around OpenStack. Um, there's a variety of different levels that have uh, tiered benefits, a lot of gives and gets, technical, business, uh, uh, technical and business activities that we can engage you with, and we invite you to participate with us. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit about the, the program and some of our partners in, in a moment. We're not going to do uh, you know, this alone. It's going to take partners. It's going to take a broad ecosystem perspective. And we're open for ideas. We're open to hearing uh, what you're seeing around OpenStack. Uh, and we really invite you to come and uh, engage with us. And you can do that uh, on the web. You can do that uh, by coming and talking to myself. You can go and talk to the, to the large uh, gentleman over here who you may have seen at the, at the Red Hat party last night. Um, we're very interested in understanding what ex you guys are doing around OpenStack from an ecosystem perspective. So a big part of what we're doing on the ecosystem side is very similar to the work we do around uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Certification, ensuring that we have the ability to have uh, third-party compatibility with our distribution of OpenStack. We're building all the elements of the certification around the pillars of OpenStack uh, today. Um, as part of the ecosystem uh, and, the, and the partner network, you'll get uh, ability to help us shape that certification process. We'll feature you in a catalog and a marketplace, and we'll be rolling out some other extended benefits at the Red Hat Summit in June uh, in Boston. Certification is an important piece not just for your technology, but it's for our common customers, giving them confidence that adopting OpenStack and an ecosystem set of solutions will be compatible and supported as they go and deploy OpenStack. So we're very, very uh, committed to ensuring that we have uh, both a certification process and a support process that are in place for the, te for the technology pill pillars for, uh, for, for OpenStack. Um, compute, storage, and networking will be available uh, almost directly after the summit. So again, in order to participate in this, you need to be part of the partner network. So 
as part of the partner network, I showed you we had some, uh, some different levels. And an alliance level, we have two alliance partners, uh, Cisco and Intel. And we're really, really pleased to be doing work with them. The work that we're doing is not limited to just the partner uh, network component, but it's really around an engineering relationship and a long-term uh, go-to-market set of activities with our alliance partners. And I encourage you to go and talk to both Cisco and Intel while you're here at the show um, and you know, really get to know what their strategies are relative to OpenStack and the relationship that we have with them. Another company I wanted to highlight on here as well as part of our ecosystem is Mirantis. Uh, Mirantis is doing some amazing work out in the customer community. We're doing a, uh, an, a, a lot of strategic engagement with Mirantis, and we're very, very happy to be partnering with them on some customer deployments, on some training activities, and also product directions. So I, I encourage you to go and talk to, to Mirantis. Lastly, you know, just want to put up a sample of some of the, some of the other companies that have joined the network thus far. Uh, we'll be announcing over the course of the next six to 10 weeks additional partners in the program as well as additional benefits. But these are the guys that, uh, that are out there today that are actually in this room. And we make sure that you go and visit their booths and understand some of the core technologies that, they, uh, that they're bringing to the table. We're, we're really excited about them. The question is going to be, you know, where are we going with the ecosystem? What does it mean to have an ecosystem around OpenStack? What does it mean for us to be driving a partner network? And really, it's about the whole connectivity of driving customer solutions in a really, really meaningful way. Uh, you know, we provide a lot of the plumbing pieces of, of OpenStack in our, in our distribution, and we're going to be really dependent upon having a strong third-party connection, both with the IH, IHVs, such as networking partners, uh, compute guys like our OEM partners that we have today, as well as ISVs and applications and technologies that are going to be compatible with OpenStack. So we really highly encourage uh, you to check out us uh, uh, at the, our website, which is redhat.com slash OpenStack, and there's a partner page off of that. So before I get the hook here, because I hear the music start coming, uh, coming to an end, we are going to pull the name for this very prized silver-lit, hobby-grade, interactive Bluetooth remote control vehicle. But you must be present in order to win. I can't even get my hand in the bowl. And my lovely assistant, Mr. Mike Waite. Oh, you can call me Vanna White. We'll be pulling the name momentarily. And the winner is Arjun Dehan from <laughs> Interzion. Interzion. Is Arjun here? Yes. He was over here waiting. So we, it's fabulous. We have a winner here. So, last message here we absolutely are very, very uh, interested in partnering with your, your company, ensuring that we have an opportunity to meet with you guys and, uh, and understand where we might be able to, to, to engage with you from an ecosystem perspective. So please look us up. Feel free to come and grab us. We're, uh, we're, we're building this with and for you, and we're super excited about the opportunity around OpenStack. So thank you.